Hi Brad from WordPressSites.net This is a 5 minute video on how to add categories and subcategories in your WordPress dashboard. Once you've logged into your WordPress dashboard just scroll down here uh, below the publish button you'll find categories and um, I need to add a few categories for a client so I'm just putting in some uh, I've made these category names keywords as well which is going to be really good for search engine optimization so I have to put in some parent categories which will be the main categories and um, and then the other categories that will come down will be uh, will be subcategories so they'll be included in the drop down menu um, so you'll see the main category name, in this case it'll be natural skin care and I'll add some sub-categories so which will be available in the drop down. So all you need to do is enter in the name of the, uh, the parent category and um, basically click on add new category and that'll add it up there. So this is the parent category, natural skin, uh, natural skin care. Uh, we want some subcategories. One of the subcategories will be uh, oily skin. So I add oily skin in there. Find the parent category, which is uh, natural skin care, and uh, and we just add this, and this will be added as a subcategory. So you'll see it there, and that'll come in the uh, that'll be available in the drop down menu. Next one is dry skin. So we find the parent category again, which is natural skin care, and we add dry skin. We just click on add new category, and that'll add that as a subcategory under the parent category natural skin care. So I'll just continue down the list, and uh, and that's how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. Here I've got another one, acne treatment. That's part of natural skin care add new category and that's added as a subcategory. Natural masks, that's under natural skin care. Add that as a subcategory. Natural scrubs, natural skin care, add that as a subcategory. So there it is, it's, it, it's really straightforward and uh, I'll show you what it looks in the, in the front end now. Once you've decided on all your categories and your subcategories, which are in this box here, uh, just make sure when you're uh, when you're publishing your post that you've ticked the correct box for the for the correct uh, for the correct category. Um, if you're going for a subcategory, you don't tick both. You just tick the subcategory. Um, so that so make sure that's all done correctly. You may also choose to add a tag, a post tag. Some people like to add 6, 8, 10, 12 different tags and use the different keywords that they've used in the content of their post as tags. Personally, I only add one tag and it's normally the main keyword that I've used for that post. Um, so in this case, uh, the category is um, natural weight loss. So, uh, if I were writing this post, this is, this is actually for a client, but if I was writing this post, I'd, uh, I'd add one tag, and that way you can place a tag cloud anywhere on your site, and it'll have a, uh, a keyword in it that'll be linked back to this post. So, it'll, it'll help the search engines, and it'll help your visitors find the content that they're looking for. I'll just show you quickly how to insert an image and also how to insert the the alt tag to the image so that uh, the, the search engines like Google can read the images because they won't be able to see the image they'll just scan over it and you need an alt tag attached to it so click on you've got four icons just above the editor here these are all for media Cl click on the first one which says add an image now click on select files, just locate the file on your desktop or wherever you use. I'll just use one of these images here. Okay, you can see the image here and the alternative text, this is what you want to put. You want to make sure you use the keyword in here and, uh, and Google will be able to read that. So change the title to the keyword there and uh, just insert that. Insert into post and you're done. Cheers.